So episode five of She-Hulk, mean, green, and poured into these jeans. That, you know, that was hilarious. That was a hilarious moment in this episode, man. It's your boy, PB3G. Welcome to Blurred You Heard the Network. I'm going to review She-Hulk episode five. I haven't been talking about every episode because these videos haven't been doing too well on my channel, but... Because there's so much controversy surrounding this episode, do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it woke? Is it not? I figured I'd review and give my old overall thoughts. I watched it twice. I watched it yesterday, and then I watched it today as of the date of this video, just to give it a second chance, because I didn't like it the first time, but that changed the second time. It kind of, I don't, I don't know. It, it, was, it was better than I thought, so the episode opens up with uh, Jen finding out that Titania trademark the name she hulk they go her and nikki go to confront her they have a standoff now titania is supposed to be like the kim kardashian of the mcu or maybe one of them you know what i'm saying maybe one of the people that's going to be an analog for the kardashians she's popular she has money she's vain all that good stuff so jen goes to work and she finds her boss tells finds out about the she hulk trademark he wants her to put a uh, stop to it they put the a lawyer what's her name renee elise goldsberry she plays amelia the i guess one of the top lawyers at she hulk's firm that's gonna help her so they go to court and the court stuff in this episode is a mockery you know court stuff and it's like just real quick the trademark something like a trademark would take way longer Especially when you're dealing with somebody like Titania who has possibly as much money as Kim Kardashian does in the real world. And a big law firm like the one she Hulk works for. That would take years. But, you know, on my second watch, I learned to go with it. It wasn't as bad. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't as bad as it was just as much a mockery as the previous court proceedings. You know what I'm saying? So she Hulk is meant to be fun. So they're fighting this trademark case. And Titania puts up a video of She-Hulk saying that she never wanted the name. And then Amelia plays a video from that earlier episode when She-Hulk decided to go on the news and embrace the name She-Hulk. So the courtroom's at a standstill, kind of like both videos. And the judge decides to see where this goes the next the next uh, next time they meet up. So Jen fi figures out that she can save her case by parading the men she dated in the previous episode because remember she signed up for the online dating thing as she hulk and <laughs> her bio is mean green and poured into these jeans that that's hilarious i'm sorry i know a lot of y'all didn't like this episode i kind of did that first but the second watch i caught myself laughing at a lot of stuff i was rolling my eyes at the first time so she parades these guys up there and one of them is Todd from the previous episode. Now this guy Todd, pay attention to this guy. That's the guy from the speed date well, from the dating that tried to get She Hulk's blood. Or was asking if Vibranium can uh pierce She Hulk's blood. Now, originally in the casting his name was Hulk Todd, but they changed it for some reason. So he might be part of he might be the guy that wore the mask in the wrecking crew from the earlier episode that people you know he i think he was the only guy wearing a mask which is eerie so it might be todd that was wearing a mask that night the wrecking crew attacked she hulk and the theory the working theory right now is that he's uh he's maybe working for the power broker or he's maybe working for the intelligentsia you know the leader was just announced as the main villain of captain america 4 which i'll talk about in a separate video in the coming days but Pay attention to Todd, you know, so, you know, these guys, these guys that they put on the stand were just pff, like, bruh, and it's just, I don't know, man, at first I felt like the men in this show are poorly written, but then I'm, but then I thought about it, I'm like, I think they're just supposed to be that way, like, even the homeboy Pug, he's just kind of like, it's either the, 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 the two categories for men on this show are jerks or punks or something like that, and it's just, I don't know. I'm not really feeling the male characters on this show. I haven't gravitated towards any of them yet. So, and sidebar, there was a side plot of Nikki and Pug trying to meet with the designer to get She-Hulk some clothes, which she gets at the end of the episode. But we'll talk about that in a second. So, 
she hulk basically parades these uh guys up and they talk trash about her they like like imagine she's she hulk probably one of the most famous people on the planet right now and they're all talking down on her like like it was something wrong with her on on this on the dates originally we saw she uh she hulk jen she had a problem with the guys that she went on a date on date with but here they're talking as if it didn't work for them and the only guy that really was the guy that actually got to sleep with she hulk who dissed her crazy that was crazy and he then, then he drives the knife in further by dissing her more in courtroom and it was just it, that was a sad moment for she hulk like she hulk gets stepped all over on this show i hope that this is moving towards a point where she's more confident jen is more confident she hulk is a more confident person because i just i'm like yo bro everybody's just walking all over like early in the episode she took a picture for a fan with titania like i'm like come on bro i'm I'm tired just it's getting a little annoying seeing everybody walk all over jen walters but i think that's supposed to be the point and at the end she'll be more confident she'll be more in your face with it we'll see so the episode ends you know amelia and uh jen kind of make amends they win they they win the case and they kind of make a a slight friendship they go out for drinks and amelia reminds her that she needs new clothes jen goes to the 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 designer guy from early in the episode to pick up her clothes and as she's trying on her stuff she likes her stuff she's trying on her stuff the 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 designer picks up a box with the daredevil helmet in it so daredevil is coming next episode it's so fire now i heard it's only supposed to be one episode which i get they're not gonna drown us in daredevil you know what i'm saying so it's only one episode and this version of daredevil will be more lighthearted than you know the previous versions that we've seen the ben affleck the charlie oh well the original charlie cox from the netflix series this is going to be a more light-hearted daredevil to fit into the show so just you know just ease up you know we got born again coming soon that's where our daredevil our hardcore daredevil content is going to come from this is just supposed to be something fun let it be fun don't take it too serious but you guys let me know what you thought about she hulk episode 5 mean green and poured into these jeans i still find that funny you know what i'm saying i kind of have fun more fun with it the second time around more than i did the first and this is still i I put this as the weakest episode so far you know it was kind of like a little pointless but we did get the or you know her origin for getting her suit and plus the origin for Daredevil getting his suit in the MCU, which is crazy. So there was also some Easter eggs at the end of the end at the end credit scene. But stay tuned for my next video. I'll be talking about that. It has something to do with my boy Cyclops Scott Summers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications so you know when that when that video drops. I got two more coming today, I think, and they're both X-Men related. So pay attention for those. It's your boy PB3G. I holla. Gang.